engineering geology in which the unit 1 deals with the introduction and uh, weathering of rocks importance of structural engineering as we discussed in the previous video classes structural geology is the study of rock structures such as folds faults joints etc which have been resulted from the movements and the deformation of the earth's crust geological structures are the evidences of crustal deformation crustal deformation means changing at surface which is caused by the tectonic forces and then cause for earthquakes however depending on the process involved various types of structures i mean folds faults joints which may develop in the geological formations folds folds are one of the most geological structures found in rocks we can see the folds in stratified formations especially in sedimentary or metamorphic rocks and these folds can be seen especially in granitic gneiss iron formations limestones shales and uh, slates can see the fold so there is a bend upward direction and a downward direction which is called a fold in detail we can call it as upward bend means anticlinal fold downward bend means synclinal fold in another picture we can see the synclinal fold also another geological structure is fault what is a fault fault is described as fracture along which there is a relative displacement of adjacent blocks which takes place the relative displacement caused during faulting may be horizontal vertical and inclined some faults if we measure which may come to a few inches long and the total displacement is measured a fraction of an inch while some of the faults those are hundreds of miles long and these faults are formed due to tensional forces or compressional forces when formations are subjected to stress the deformation takes place in a rock so that uh, one can see an amount of displacement the magnitude of fault obviously depends on the intensity on the nature of shearing stress which is involved occurrence of fault is always accompanied by earthquakes and it is a very good indication of that the subsurface is having instability and another structural feature is joints which are usually noticed in almost all the rocks these joints are fractures 
or openings and these are different from the fault in that there is no displacement along them. In a fault, there is a displacement, whereas in case of joints, there will be no displacement. This is the difference between a fault and a joints. Most of the joints, as I said, are formed due to tensional stress or shearing stress. That is the reason these joints are described as tension joints or shear joints respectively. In fact, the presence of joints divide the rods into a number of blocks. Let us see the importance of joints from civil engineering point of view. Joints may pose groundwater problem in tunneling. That's why study of joints is very very important especially in case of tunneling. Large joints suddenly cause for landslides. That is another drawback. So study of giants, I mean clearly indicates, I mean the occurrence of landslides so that the civil engineers can come out from this problem if studied properly the giants. Giants also cause the leakage of water in case of dams and reservoirs. Hence, giants are to be studied properly and booted properly. Mineral exploration in mining sector becomes very easy due to the presence of joints. So, we can extract the rock or minerals when giants are more. In addition, the orientation of giants is very significant in engineering projects. How they are oriented? Vertically, horizontally, or inclined. So, based on that, the engineering projects are to be designed. Quarry operations suddenly influenced by the joints. Presence of joints in rocks allow the movement of water and they may act as aquifers so that. Bore wells can be drilled in civilian construction areas for water supply. In highly jointed rocks than in less jointed rocks. If the joints are more, we may tap good groundwater. If the joints are less, we may tap groundwater in lesser quantity. Thank you.